his winning cross finds Alexander Dumit with a textbook header. 1-0 to Tampanese. Second half, the home side had to wait till the closing stages to seal the win. Kaur Amri was deemed to have been fouled by Sharul Janta. Penalty to Tampanese. And Carl converts the resulting spot kick to make the final score 2-0. Home United travelled to the Yishun Stadium to face Beijing Guan Talent. The protectors took the lead midway through the first half. Shu Jai shot somehow managed to find his way past Su Bong Yang. And they doubled their lead nine minutes later. Shao Isha with a little touch and go with Shu Jai before slotting it past the keeper. It's the midfielder's 14th goal of the season. Then a minute before full time, Sharul's slide rule pass finds Ju Wu Kien for the easy finish, giving the protectors their 11th win in 12 games. As well at home to Woodlands Wellington at the Queenstown Stadium, the French side had to wait till the 64th minute to come open the Rams defense. Kareem Budyama beat Fajar Sharif with a casual finish, 1-0. As well, made sure the points were secured on 77 minutes. A cross from Frederick Mendy finds Anthony Mulan at the far post. The striker made a hash out of his first attempt, but somehow managed to beat the keeper with his second try. It finished 2 0 to Etoile. Elsewhere, it finished goalers between Balassi and Gombach, while Young Lions drew 2 all with Geelong United at the John Bazaar Stadium. It looks like a three-horse race for the title as we approach the tail end of the season. Just four points separating Tampanese, Etoile and home. Eight-time league champion Test FFC slipping into the bottom half for the first time this season. The Warriors have never finished out of the top four since the inception of the S-League back in 1996. Just two games left in the round after today. Geelong United at home to Beijing while Woodlands face Singkang Pongo at the Woodlands Stadium. The Esli will then take a three-week break due to the Youth Olympic Games, as it will resume on the 30th of August. So the final live game that we have for you before the YOG, and uh, right here at the Jalamasar Stadium, it's all the action with our commentators for tonight. It's over to Paul Maysfield.